Hello, everyone. I'm Krishna Gade. I'm the founder and CEO of Fiddler. Here with me is Matan Broner, our software engineer intern. Both of us are here to demonstrate how Fiddler is using Onyx to do explainable monitoring for our customers. The problem we are trying to solve at Fiddler is that AI and machine learning teams are flying blind when it comes to deploying models to production. They're suffering from more four main problems. One is models are a black box and they want to have transparency into them. Number two, model performance can drift over time. And especially with coronavirus, lots of teams have experienced this model performance drift problem and they want to monitor these models continuously. And then models can carry bias, especially affecting certain ethnicities or certain genders. They want to be able to detect them. Number four, models can be non-compliant if it's especially if they're being used for regulatory use cases. Here, the problem we are trying to solve is not just helping the data science teams, but also helping uh, you know, a lot of other teams connected to them, the business users, the customer support teams, the IT operations teams. They all have questions about these models. How do they work? Can I trust them? You know, how do I monitor them? But we are basically building a platform to satisfy these questions uh, around, uh, that are coming up around these black box models today. Here's our background. Uh, we all come from tech companies in the Bay Area. I was an engineering lead at Facebook working on explainable AI for Newsfeed, where we built a lot of monitoring and diagnostics tools for Newsfeed. And that's how the team got formed. And we've been working towards this mission of building trust into AI, making AI explainable and monitor it continuously for a, for a wide variety of enterprise companies out there. Now, Matan will be able to talk about how we use Onyx in particular to essentially monitor and explain all of these different types of models. We talked about the TensorFlow models, the PyTorch models, the Scikit models. Great. So we, we know that with Fiddler building such a robust platform, we want to be able to support so many different kinds of models. Uh, a real issue we found is that versioning in a lot of these machine learning frameworks has become a, an issue worth in, in, which causes inconsistencies in the way we're able to absorb models. And so We've been looking for a great solution to say, how do we take uh, all the robust functionality we have and be able to adapt it into a system where regardless of what framework you're using, regardless of what version of the framework you're using, we're still able, still able to take the model and monitor, explain, and analyze it all the same. So we we ran into this example specifically with Scikit-Learn where certain versions were uh, working for us and certain versions just weren't working for us uh, in, our, in our same core platform. And so our solution was to use Onyx, right? We want to be able to have this nice middle ground where we say, okay, no matter what kind of model the customer comes with, we have Onyx sitting there in the middle. It, we're able to convert the model, create a uniform model type, and then absorb it all the same into the platform. And it gives the customer the seamless experience. They don't need to be aware of the inner, inner workings of our system. They just get to put the model into production uh, and have us monitor, explain, and analyze it. Uh, and so we're going to show you a demo, just a bit of how Fiddler has been able to use uh, Onyx uh, to, to, to boost its core functionality and to create a more seamless experience. Some things that we have for the future is we'd like to do some more automated conversions, right? We have, we have this great uh, Fiddler client library that our customers are using, and we'd like to have Onyx functionality be more plugged into our client library so that customers are able to provide any type of, type of model, run a quick few lines of code, and get an Onyx model that can be used in Fiddler. Uh, furthermore, we'd like to add more support for more of the converters that are community driven uh, surrounding Onyx. So there's a lot already out there. We'd like to support more of them. And beyond that, we'd like to also support custom model converters, all part of the Fiddler client library. Uh, and so, yeah, those are the three things we'd like to do. And so now we'd like to go ahead and show you uh, a quick demo. It's our quick start notebook for customers uh, of how Fiddler uses Onyx uh, to, to create a more seamless experience. So we're going to run just a few of these uh, basics, basics uh, uh, imports. We're going to use scikit-learn version uh, 24.1. We're going to use our Fiddler client library. Uh, we're going to set up a few base uh, constants. And so we're going to use an auto insurance uh, data set as in our example. And we're going to separate our data set out. We're going to then uh, upload our data set and we're going with using the Fiddler client library now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a model info. It's an object that describes uh, the type of model that you're using, the type of uh, functionality it provides, and all of the data columns and uh, and prediction columns that it that it uh, takes in. We're going to create a basic uh, SK Learn pipeline. And we're going to train it really quick. And now in here we're going to use the SKL to Onyx uh, package. We're going to use it to convert all all of our columns 
from uh, our basic type column types that are used into a, uh, the, the, either the flow tensor type, the string tensor type, or the N64 tensor type. And we're going to return it as a series of inputs. We're going to convert our inputs. Now we're going to create our actual model using Onyx, converting our sklearn pipeline. From here, we're going to now create this model directory that we're going to use to upload all of our assets. We're going to create a model Onyx file, and we're going to create a model YAML file. So Fiddler uses this concept of the package py file. It's a way of describing how does our how does my model take in data and how does it create a prediction. And so you can do all these great converters kind of in this middle part where uh, our our backend systems will use this uh, file to create a custom kind of prediction pipeline for your model. And so we're going to use the Onyx runtime package, which we're going to uh, to take our model, uh, take the data in all the same, and then make a prediction with it. So the customer doesn't really need to be aware of exactly how the prediction is being made. Uh, we're going to run our custom package validator and make sure that everything's running seamlessly before you upload into the system. It creates a more seamless and less uh, kind of trying experience for the backend as well. We're going to then upload our project, our model into our project, and we're going to trigger some predictions. Great. Predictions are triggered now and we can actually test that. We can take a prediction, a, a slice of our inputs, and we can just make sure that they're running correctly. And we can see that, yes, we have a correct set of predictions. Now let's head over to the Fiddler UI and let's take a look really quick at uh, our actual model in our system. So if we refresh our page, we can see that we now have a quick start Onyx gradient boosting uh, project with a single mo model in there. We can head in here and we can see all of our information is all the same. Despite being an sklearn model, we are able to track it all the same. We can head over to our analyze tab and we can run a slice query. And we can see all of our predictions here. And uh, what Fiddler is able to do now is we can take any of these predictions and we can explain it. And right. so, so can you uh, explain it here? Uh, what Fiddler is showing you is a Shapley value explanations for that prediction. It provides this human disc, human readable explanations of what make what's making this customer lifetime value higher. Number of policies, employment status, vehicle size. You can also look at the attribution view where you can present this information in a tabular format, which features are actually negatively uh, hurting the uh, you know customer lifetime value and the predicted customer lifetime value and which features are actually you know positively increasing them. So that's how you can use the explainability to you know reason about the predictions and be able to understand and you can also do what if analysis and whatnot. So that basically you know completes our demo in terms of how we use Onyx to uh, you know, uh, import the models into Fiddler, uh, import a variety of models and help them to be, you know, make them available for explainability and monitoring. And hope you enjoyed this demo. Thank you so much. Thank you.